All right, so I'm going to show you how to take any image from a Google image search. Um, in this case, we're looking at an outline of the state of Michigan. Um, and we're going to find an image that we want. We're going to save this image, import it into a processing software, create a file format that we need to then be able to engrave it on a CNC machine, laser etch it, or mill it on a CNC, or uh, whatever. Um, so in this case, like I said, we've got our outline of the state of Michigan. I selected the picture that I wanted, um, and I'm just going to right click it, and I'm going to save the image as, and I'm going to go to my pictures folder, and I'm in my pictures folder, and I'm going to rename it um, to Michigan Outline. Um, and we want to save it as a JPEG, that's okay. We can save it as JPEG, PNG, or whatever file format it's really there as. Um, we're going to save it. So now I've got my image saved. And we're going to open up a program called Inkscape. Um, once again, it's just Inkscape. I'm just going to open this up. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this image into Inkscape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my file here where I have the image saved as uh, the Michigan outline. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click and drag it into here. Um, and then we're going to see this dialog box pop up. Um, we can keep the image import type as uh, embed um, image dpi is default that's okay um, but this image rendering mode we want it set to smooth uh, because if we're going to be milling it on a cnc machine engraving it or laser etching it or whatever if we choose blocky because we want to optimize the load speed um, it's going to come out looking like hot garbage because uh, it's going to be super pixely and gross and we don't want it so we want it smooth because even then it's not a really hard image to process on our computer um, so we're going to hit OK. And what we want to do actually is we want this image here to fit in this little box that's behind. So this box right here, when we finally save our, our image, we get the image that we want as output. If we have like a little spillage over here, like we've got like this part of the peninsula over here kind of falling outside the box and a little bit over here and all that, Anything that's inside the box is what's going to get saved. So we're going to scale this down a little bit so that we have the entire state in that box. And we kind of want the image as large as we possibly can get it. And that looks OK. So what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to hold my left control, and then I'm going to mouse wheel up so it's a little bit easier to work with. I'm going to zoom back a little bit. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to select this image. We're going to right click and we're going to hit trace bitmap. So we go to this trace bitmap. And if you don't get the image showing up here in like your little preview section, um, what you can do is right here where it says live preview, you're just going to hit that. And boom, we've got our image. Uh, so because this is black and white imaging, um, not uh, we don't have to deal too much with colors like the edge detection or color quantization or anything like that. Um, what this does is it separates an image out into separate layers. So if we had four or five different colors, we can separate it out based on those colors. Um, but for now, since we just want this black outline and the, the rest of everything is white, we're okay. Um, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to adjust the brightness cutoff um, because some of the detail looks kind of jagged around these edges here, um, and I kind of want to round it out a little bit. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to increase the brightness cutoff we're going to increase it to, let's say, like 60%. About there looks looks, looks good. Um, so I'll increase that. I'll make sure brightness cutoff was the one that was selected. I'm going to hit OK. And it processes really quickly just because it's black and white. It's two colors. Um, so once it's processed, I can just exit out of this dialog. And then what I'm going to do is the image that's already selected is the JPEG that we came in here for. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and move it. and it's like magic because there's another image underneath. And this is the image that we just processed. This is the one that we want. So with this one already being selected, I'm just going to hit the delete key. Um, and so this is all we want. So I'm just going to select the image. And I'm going to go up to the top left here and hit File and Save As. Um, and then we're going to go to um, the same pictures folder. And we're going to save it as the Michigan outline again. We already see that we have the JPEG uh, file in here. I'm just going to delete this file extension because once we save it, it'll. if we had the .jpeg still in there, it'll rewrite as .jpeg.svg, and that's just, uh, it's just bad. Um, 
So we're going to save it as the same name, um, but we're going to delete the .jpg and then we're just going to save it as .svg. So we're going to save it in that same folder. And then I'm just going to minimize Inkscape here real quick. And we can see that in the folder, right next to the JPEG extension, we've got the SVG. And to make sure that we've got the right thing selected, we can, uh, well, saved, we can open it up and boom, there's our SVG file. It's the state of Michigan. Look how beautiful that is. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just close this. I don't need that anymore. Um, and I'm going to minimize this, minimize this folder here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a program called Fusion 360. Um, it's by Autodesk. It's a free uh, bit of software. Um, you you get it for free if you're if you're registered with a startup or individual license. There is a whole section on their website where it talks about how to set something like that up. Um, I'll go over that another time.